Hey guys, sorry for the three month hiatus. I've been busy getting back in school. As you can tell, I'm in my new dorm, and also this has taken over my life. But, lame excuses aside, let's get back to ukulele tutorials. This is the Fairy Fountain theme from Zelda, and it's all finger picking, so just follow along and try your best. Now, was it perfect? No, I haven't picked up my ukulele in a while, and I kinda suck. But I'm gonna teach you how to play it anyways. So to start, you're gonna bar the seventh fret with your index finger, then you're gonna put your ring finger on the eighth fret A string. Now this is pretty much the whole pattern of the song. You're gonna put your middle finger on the A string, index finger on the E string, and then uh, thumb on the C string. And the whole pattern is this. So, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index. That's pretty much the whole pattern. So, if you're uncomfortable with that, just practice that for hours. This is how it makes sense in the pattern. With the ring finger held down, you're going to play through the pattern once. But once you get back to the A string, you're going to lift up. So the next pattern, you're just barring the seventh fret. So there's two patterns. Now, this is where the pattern changes. So after this, your middle finger is going to go up to the G string, eighth fret, right here. And instead of your thumb just staying on C, it's going to move up to G. So your thumb is going to come up to G. Index is going to play the same thing in the middle. So then your thumb is going to go down back to C. So it's So those three patterns. For the fourth pattern in that phrase, it's just going to be barred seven. So you're going from this back to... Also, this will wear your hands out because you're just squeezing the entire time. So those four patterns... So after this pattern, you're going to move back to the 4th fret and bar it with your index finger. Put the middle finger on the E string 5th uh, fret. C string is going to be 6th uh, fret with the ring finger. And then pinky on the 7th fret. So this is how this pattern goes. So the first pattern through is gonna you're gonna have your pinky on the seventh fret. Then you're gonna lift up on the second pattern. And what I like to do, my middle finger just rolls down so it's covering those last two strings. For the third pattern, it's gonna lift back up. And the A string is gonna be played by the fourth fret, barred by your index finger. So those four.
After this pattern, you're going to drop back to the second fret, bar it with your index finger, put the middle finger, E string, third fret, ring finger, C string, fourth fret, and pinky on the fifth fret, A string. So this time your pinky is not going to lift up, it's going to shift back after the first pattern. So this is the first pattern, then your pinky shifts back to the fourth fret. So then your middle finger is going to do that roll again. Then it's going to roll back up and your pinky is going to be on the fourth fret. A string. So So the last pattern in this phrase is the same as the first pattern you played on the seventh fret. But it's just down here on the second fret, and your ring finger goes on third. Or if you want to, you can do pinky. Now remember this last pattern has the thumb change, so it goes up and goes up to the G string. Thumb, index, thumb, index. And your thumb is going from G to C. So, and then back. So that last pattern. Now you can loop that whole phrase together as many times as you want before you go into the next part. You're going to play the first pattern just the same. Then you're going to put your middle finger on the C string 8th fret and your ring finger is going to go on the 10th the, uh, fret A string. So from here and your ring finger is just going to go 10, 9, 8, 9, so. And it's going to be kind of hard because you're going to have to scrunch your fingers really close together and I'm really not that good at it. So those two patterns together. You're going to slide your index finger to the ninth fret and bar the last three. Then you're going to put your middle finger on the tenth fret and your ring finger on the twelfth fret A string. Now it keeps the same pattern. You roll your middle finger so the only thing touching it is your middle finger and your index finger. So. Then you just put your middle finger up, so the A string is, is hit by the index finger. Then you roll your middle finger down again. So. And then the outro, basically, I just put my index finger on the uh, ninth fret and on seventh and on fifth and then fourth so and it gives me a little break before I start it up again
if you're uncomfortable with the finger picking pattern, just slow it down and get it to a point where you're comfortable. And also, just make sure you work on your strength because you're just doing a lot of bar chords. So, yeah, I need to work on that myself. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have another video up soon. And that was the last Zelda song I know. So, no more Zelda.